hope you are doing well today. So I'm back and uh, just the Wi-Fi is really working bad here in Croatia. So now I also just uh, went to another location to, to France to do live show. Hope you appreciate it. Push the like, smash the bell notification all and subscribe on the channel. So the crypto market is doing well. Few altcoins are pumping. I'm Miklos Dentler from Coreon X, and we are bringing the most important crypto news every day to it and educated. Let's share my screen and let's get into our favorite bubble chart, see how altcoins are performing. And as you see, most of the altcoins are in green, especially Solana is up 34%. Uh, are 40, uh, 31%, Fan, uh, 23%, Luna, 30%, 10%, Link, 11 Kusama, 15 1, 13 uh, H HD, 14 Neo, 10 Helium, 10 Dot, 15 15 So, guys, this is amazing to see. And also, as Bitcoin is just working on to gain some momentum and building some uh, fundamental strength at uh, uh, meantime altcoins are pumping wow so smash the like and push the bell notification and let's go to our favorite indicator the crypto fear and speed index and as you see we are at so we are in the grid territory and as you see uh, yeah, it was at 70, but in the last three months, the crypto fear and greed in the extreme fear, and now just gaining some momentum, getting uh, getting up uh, in the neutral zone, and then to greed. But this doesn't mean that uh, there is a uh, due for a correction, but this is a how has it building up. Uh, momentum for the crypto market so let's uh, go to our news btc price slips under forty-six thousand us dollar but are betting on the new bitcoin all-time highs deep below forty-six thousand has little impact on sentiment with a longer term view still favoring uh show sixty thousand and about so we are also in, in during the weekend, there's this uh, Simpson bar pattern and now uh, just a small pump and dump. But this is how uh, the structure is building up and Bitcoin building uh, its uh, structure to get more strength. OK, so major sell wall holding Bitcoin back from uh, 50,000. And this area is to me the major boss and hurdle to climb. Uh, Pantoshi said, I still believe for now it will be a short term uh, <clears throat> lower high on the micro before we go for that upper range. So Bitcoin is inside. And next week will be the important week, I think. Also, you can check this <clears throat> chart that. Was the buy and sell levels The most interesting development over the last one two weeks has been the increase in the holdings of entities uh, forensically clustered addresses with over 1000 ptc since july uh, 27th Wales have added 107,000 ptc to their holdings so guys this is the chart uh, this is the bitcoin price 
the green one and this uh, purple ha is ha waves are accumulating during the 2017 that cat uh, there was a massive sell-off from market participants that hadn't moved their coins in at last six months they took exit liquidity on the first opportunity that they were given so this is the most important takeaway from this uh, article because this is not what happening in 2017 uh, uh, because uh, long-term holders are not selling their coins so they are more likely accumulating than selling we are not in fact seeing the same behavior currently in validating the dead can bounce narrative from an on-chain perspective thus far long-term holders are currently sitting tight and holding strong so on, on this side you can see uh the spend output age bands so you see the bitcoin price and you see in these um, uh, columns that what is uh, the average spend output age bands and you see that uh, during the 2017 and 2018 uh, dump uh, also long-term holders spend their coins but now they are not selling the fact that funding is so low compared to where it was at the same price levels in february shows that this rally is much healthier and spot driven rather than derivatives leverage is also relatively low compared to when btc was at the same price levels in february again showing this rally has been healthy so this is the bitcoin price and this is the funding rates but uh, uh, so we are in the negative territory almost since the drop uh, in mid-may lastly we have the number of transactions adjusted for movements between entities to filter out noise seeing a slow grind up in in this but would like to see more follow through with higher prices okay so this is the number of transactions and it is adjusted and this is the bitcoin price and you see that uh, now the number of transactions started to slightly increase so that's huge and these are all all chain metrics and all chain metrics always indicating what uh, the bitcoin price will do plan b means 100,000 bitcoin prediction reveals when his model would be invalidated okay so plan b is uh, the inventor of the stock to flow model and stock to flow model typically used in evaluating traditional assets aimed to predict price by measuring existing supply against production rate. I never had a uh, quote, I never had any doubt. I still think it will be 100,000 end of year minimum. And there is lots of time. We are at 40,000 now. So that's a two. On uh, the internet calling or 20,000 Bitcoin, I don't think that's going to happen. 100,000 US dollar by Christmas. That would be a nice Christmas present under the tree. It's just a linear regression, right? So it's very obvious when that regression is no longer valid. The stock to flow model says we should go up with the stock to flow ratio that has gone up since the halving. So we are sort of waiting for that. But when it says done, so when we stay at the 20, 40,000 dollars for a couple of years, for example, a couple of months, then it's obvious that this linear regression line is no longer fitting the data. Okay, guys, so this is the main takeaway. And let's uh, hope for the 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price by Christmas. Our major news today are uh headline news over half of the world's leading banks had crypto exposure so that's huge 100 largest banks in the world by assets under management reportedly have exposure the cryptocurrency and blockchain just recovering wow so this is huge guys so not crypto is uh, 
just needing banks, but banks needing Bitcoin and banks going into Bitcoin because banks seeing that this is the new invention of money and technology. And this is the mixture of this technology and money. And this is this is the biggest in invention, uh, let's say, since gold or uh, how should I say, um, compounding interest or whatever, according my opinion. <laughs> But you guys, you know, you know that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial advice. Everything just for educational and entertainment purposes only. So our next, uh, according to this news, top banks investing in crypto and blockchain companies. So it's almost the same, but you can check here. Standard Chartered, Bank of New York, Mellon, Citibank, UBS, BNP, Paribas, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, M UFG, ING, BBVA, Numura, Barclays, and a lot of others investing in crypto. And that will just increase with time. And one interesting news. Bank of Russia executive worried over of local investors puring millions. in countries so there was a time that uh, russia uh, didn't allow to average people to general people to buy crypto but they allowed to oligarch and and rich people to buy crypto then they allowed uh, average people to buy up to three thousand us dollar annually so yearly uh, but nothing more and now they are uh, the uh, this uh, executive from the central bank is just worrying uh, because Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, the main takeaway that they want that you you as you living in Ru in Russia, they don't want you to invest directly in crypto because uh, it's better if they are investing in and if they are uh, making huge profits with Bitcoin, not you. But they want they want you to invest in their shares and buying up their company shares. So this is everything's uh, about and this uh, executive is a soccer player former soccer player so i don't know how a, a soccer player can uh, be uh, then uh, working uh, as a executive in uh, the, one of the central banks but it's quite interesting so some things happen so uh, this is politics guys <laughs> yeah so the next piece of news Advisor to President of Colombia calls Bitcoin most brilliant piece of software ever. So this is huge. So he is calling Bitcoin not just the most brilliant money, but the most brilliant piece of software ever. And this advisor is a technological guy, Castro Yehudi Castro Sierra, and he is advisor to Ivan uh, Duque Marquez, the President of Colombia. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we would get more news from Colombia, how uh, they are embracing Bitcoin and crypto. And I think as also they are a Latin American country with a weak, weak economy, I think that they would take more benefits on this. Why Ethereum uh, see another lift up if it's able to hold one crucial level? So this one crucial level that we should hold is 3,165. And also Ethereum tried to break the 3,300 levels several times, but now we have resistance and also uh, uh, an ascending triangle uh, started to building up here. So that is, uh, that is why Ethereum is getting, getting to, uh, nearer to this resistance and we might see a break up from these levels and uh, yeah. MACD is slowly losing pace in bullish zone and IRL error size still about 50 levels, major support at 3,150 and major resistance at 3,330. The next piece of news you already know, but just for uh, making you know for sure, Cardano says smart contracts will go live in September and that's huge. Alonso hard work on September, uh, of September will go uh, live and then 
The launch will allow DeFi, NFTs, and gaming apps to give life on Cardano. Cardano ADS token has surged today in anticipation for the update. It's now the third largest cryptocurrency bar market cap. And guys, you should definitely check out uh, Charlie Free, Gary Wallet, Cardstock, and uh, what else? Sunday Swap and Oken Fi uh, Finance because all these are uh, DeFi and uh, NFT projects building and launchpads building on Cardano. The next piece of news, XRP soars to three months high as price climbs above 1.3. XRP reached a three months high. The price surges see XRP climb for 11 straight day. XRP has climbed over 162% since its recent low of 0.5. And that's huge. And what is behind that? That ripple waves return and push XRP price harder. So this is why XRP is surging. And also, you know, there is this lawsuit with the, uh, this settlement with the SEC. And when it will be just closed, then I think XRP will skyrocket here. Uh, and now also wears is entering uh, XRP, so that is the reason. <clears throat> Our next piece of news, the daemon Gene Simmons from KISS is all in on Bitcoin. The rock star Gene Simmons is keen on Bitcoin as he believes its dollar value would sp soon reach 60,000 uh, US dollar. The daemon loved the right to 65,000 US dollar. I like the right to 65,000 and I'm what's called a hodler. I believe in the long run. I'm all in, I'm putting more in and also he's investing in <clears throat> Dogecoin. I believe in Ethereum. I went it at about 900 US dollar. I have it more than 3,000. So he invested in Ethereum at 900. Simons accept crypto for his art collection. So he's also getting in NFTs not his first cryptocurrency investment he's also in cardano and i'm sure that he is in dogecoin because there was a news before and dogecoin dogecoin is having its own festival and dion warwick is headlining the soul superstar is the latest celebrity turned meme coin fan the dogecoin festival will kick off in texas on uh, 9th of october it will celebrate all the things. Doge, soul legend Diony Berwick will head, headline the festival. So the, uh, he is, uh, sorry, she is this uh, celeb and then she will host this uh, festival. Yeah, so it's, 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 a, it's a thing. It's building some adoption, but um, nothing more. The next piece of news is huge, guys. Time magazine to collaborate with Cool Cats NFT projects. So, uh, Time magazine also, uh, there was uh, news that uh, they will enter into NFTs and now they are collaborating with Cool Cats. And uh, you should definitely check out uh, Cool Cats on, uh, on uh, let's see if I have OpenSea open, uh, open here or where. Uh, uh, yeah, here is OpenSea. Let's see if we find any cool cats on uh, OpenSea. So you can you come to OpenSea and uh, just here are the cool cats. So you can check all uh, uh, cool cats here and uh, cool cats, cool cats. I I don't I don't, I don't find cool cats. Okay, so just come here and you will find cool cats here. You find the craze takes flight as daily volume tops 11 million in Ethereum. Yes, the adorable penguins are popping up all across crypto Twitter. Our NFT are surging in value right now. Okay, so more than 11 million verse collection in NFTs have been sold on secondary market. So definitely you should check out also 
you are Puji Penguins. Here are the Puji Penguins, Crypto Banks, and Bear Apes Yacht Club. So you can find all these NFTs here on OpenSea. So guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Please smash the like, push up bell. Also how to buy NFTs, how to store NFTs, and one of the most important things that how to choose NFTs and how to evaluate NFT investments so I will come with this news and you should definitely also follow me on Twitter and also push the bell and notification all and like this video and then you will be notified whenever I'm coming, I'm going live. So guys, hope you enjoyed. Please smash the like. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.